This is the incisive or mental nerve block. The nerves are the mental and incisive nerves. The areas anesthetized are the buccal mucous membrane anterior to the mental foramen, usually from the second premolar to the midline, the lower lip and the skin of the chin, the popal nerve fibers to the premolars, canine and incisors. The needle gauge in length is a 25 or 27 short. The patient position is supine or semi-supine with their mouth partially closed. The operator position for the right side block is 8 or 10 o'clock facing the patient. For the left side block, it's going to be 10 or 1. 2 o'clock is okay also. The landmarks are the mandibular premolars and mucobuccal fold, the target mental foramen through which the mental nerve exits and the incisive nerve is located. The syringe position and locating area of insertion is the patient's upper lip and cheek parallel to the long axis of the tooth, the mucobuccal fold or anterior to the mental foramen. The bevel orientation is it faces towards the bone. Pressure anesthesia is during the injection, you will maintain gentle finger pressure directly over the injection site to increase the volume of the solution entering the mental foramen. After the injection is completed, apply pressure at the injection site for one to two minutes. The depth of insertion is 5 to 6 millimeters. Osseous contact, there is none. Advance the needle slowly until the level of the mental foramen is reached. There is no need to enter the mental foramen for the incisive block to be successful. Aspiration potential is 5.7%. Aspiration negative? The amount of solution is 0.6 millimeters over 20 to 30 seconds.